Hey everyone, it's Ben from Living Survival and today we're going to take a look at the hiking or trail running shoes that I've chosen to wear this spring and this summer. So I previously did a video on the hiking boots that I've been using for the past two years, winter and summer, and I let you guys know that I wanted to get a lighter weight option that was maybe a little bit more breathable for the summer months. The uh, Solomon 4D GTXs that I was wearing in the winter and the summer, fantastic boot. I feel it's the best hiking boot out there and I'm not alone. A lot of magazines, a lot of websites feel the same way too. Great boots, but again, they are not the coolest in the hot summer months. So I wanted to get something that again was a little bit lighter and maybe a little bit more breathable. So in a previous video, I showed you these. These are the Quest 42 GTXs, a fantastic boot. I believe it's the best boot I've ever had. I called it the best all around hiking boot in that video. I'm not alone. A lot of other websites and a lot of other magazines rated this as a top boot as well. It's got Vortex protection. I've walked through, you know, countless little streams with these where the water's gotten up to here. I've stepped in really deep puddles and my feet have yet to get wet. They have excellent traction. So if you're going up hills, down hills, even in wet, muddy conditions, they have excellent traction and they work well for that. They are a little bit on the warm side. So in the hot summer months, I found myself even with a very, very light liner sock, I felt my uh, my feet getting a little bit hot and that's the only problem with a shoe that's got Gore-Tex and uh, leather and things like that is that it's fully protected so it's not the best when it comes to breathability. I'd still say definitely for the fall months, the winter months, and the spring months when you got cooler temperatures, this is definitely the best all around boot you can buy. But I'm gonna show you the new trail runners that I picked up specifically for those warmer summer months. So this shoe is a brand new shoe for 2017 from Solomon. This is their XA Pro 3Ds. I've been wearing these for a few months now. I've taken them on multiple trips and put a lot of miles on them. And again, I am just completely, uh, completely impressed with the durability and the quality that the Solomon uh, shoes and boots continue to put out. They have the same well-built construction as my uh, 4D GTXs, a little bit lower cut, so it's more like a shoe. You know, a lot of people, you know, trail run with these. I don't necessarily run on the trails, but I do walk a lot of trails, hike a lot of trails. Now, a lot of people, when they're looking for a trail running shoe or a lower cut boot such as this, they will go with something that is very, very breathable because the, uh, you know, the thinking there is that if you do get wet, and you continue to walk on, your feet will dry out over time. Now, that may be true for some areas or for some applications, maybe if you're going on a really long through hike or something like that, where you're not stopping, you're not camping, that may be great. But I do a lot of just shorter hikes uh, and I do a lot of camping. So I wanted something that had the Gore-Tex protection and I was willing to sacrifice a little bit of that breathability for the all over protection. Now, just like my 4D2s, the uh, higher boots, these didn't let me down when it came to the Gore-Tex either. I was able to step in puddles, walk through shallow uh, riverbeds and shallow streams, and my feet did not get wet at all. I went on a two day overnight in Ohio. It rained the entire time. All our gear was soaked. My pants were completely soaked. Raincoat was completely soaked through, but my feet were dry. So breathability aside, these again are very well constructed. They don't offer as much ankle support, but I was very impressed with the amount that you get out of a low cut shoe like this. I did walk up and down several pretty steep incline hills. Again, it was raining and muddy when I did so, and these stayed on my feet. I felt like I had adequate protection. Now they did slip a little bit more than the uh, 4Ds. They don't have quite the deep uh, quite as deep traction on the bottom, but again, for a shoe that's built to be, be lightweight, a trail running shoe, I'm again, overly impressed. So just like the 40s, you have the Gore-Tex protection here. You have a uh, protection uh, cap on the toe here, a protection toe, which is nice. And then you do have the Conta grip on the bottom, just like you do on the 4Ds. However, on the 4Ds, even though these are quite worn out because I put hundreds of miles on these, uh, they aren't quite as deep or the grooves aren't quite the same. So these are gonna give you a lot less slip if you're going up and down uh, hills, especially when it's raining or muddy out. But these did the trick. And again, for just an all around shoe for camp and for short hikes uh, and even longer trails, great, great shoe. And I'm glad that I switched to them. They do keep my feet cooler because they are lighter weight. And even with that Gore-Tex protection, I don't find my, myself uh, or my feet heating up as much as they did with the 4D2s. Again, here on the bottom, you can see the contra grip. 
not quite as uh, you know not quite as deep as on the more full uh, full height hiking boot but again for trails and camping perfect uh, as far as trashing goes it does have the 3d chassis and then another thing that I really like is that they are super easy to slip on and off so even if you did come up to a deeper uh, river or stream or even a small lake or something that you had to cross you could slip these off throw them in your waterproof bag barefoot it and then slip them right back on it's got you know the easy lace system you just pull that tight and they're laced so you just put it right on your foot uh, pull that up and it's laced now you can either leave this like that there is a lace pocket here which is just a little pocket in the uh, the tongue of the shoe here you can go ahead and you can tuck that in there or what I'll do is I'll just tuck it in the uh, tip of the shoe here uh, under that last lace that kind of goes diagonally across there so either way I've done it all three ways and uh, you know these don't come loose at all even again with uh, serious inclines and serious declines they stay nice and tight and the beauty there is that they're easy to pull off they're easy to slip on and I've even worn them just like that just you know around the house or running out to the car I don't even pull the lace but I love that factor I love the fact that they're uh, you know easy on easy easy off I can just clip them right to my pack if I were making a smaller uh, river or stream crossing but just like the hiking boots these have the ortholite liner in them although the sticker wore off a lot quicker in these even though I have hundreds of miles on these the sticker hasn't worn off yet but they do have the same ortholite liner now hundreds of miles on the hiking boots and plenty of miles on these so far I find that I do not need to replace that liner at all it gives me plenty of protection for my foot size wise these go a little bit bigger uh, or, or I'd say more true to fit than the boots are these I've heard from other people and for me as well maybe a little bit snug when you get thicker socks on again I generally just use these with liners even the winter I'll wear a light wool sock and these work just fine these with just your typical you know lightweight sock I have a little bit more room in them so that's nice so I'd say maybe fit wise these are a little bit more true to fit than the 4d's overall just a fantastic pair of shoes for the summer months especially if you're around water or in rainy conditions as I often find myself in again if you prefer a shoe that's going to dry out maybe these aren't going to be for you you know you want something a little bit more breathable but I've had the Keens the Merrells those are all more breathable the second that it starts raining even a drizzle or the second that I mistakenly step in a puddle my foot my toe even if I'm walking in wet grass is soaked and again I'm willing to give up that for the Gore-Tex protection where I can literally just stomp down in puddles, keep these in all day out in the rain, and my feet are gonna stay dry. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today, taking a look at the Solomon Trail Runners that I decided to pick up for this summer. They have not let me down at all in their quality, in their durability, in their protection from the elements. As I said, I took them on uh, my hike, I took them on several campouts, I took them on my camp out to Ohio where it rained both days. I mean, they were, completely soaked on the outside i was completely soaked my raincoat was completely soaked everything was completely soaked but my socks and feet were completely dry so again i'm willing to give up a little bit of that breathability for the gore-tex protection not everyone's like that some people want a shoe that if it does get wet it's going to dry out really quickly uh, for me for what i do for the trails that I hike and for the conditions that I'm in, I'd rather have that Gore-Tex prote protection that's gonna keep my feet dry from the start. I'm gonna place a link below to where you guys can pick these up if you choose to do so. Either way, if you like the more supportive, uh, higher boot or the lower cut, lighter weight running shoe, Solomon is an awesome company. I haven't been let down by any of their products so far. I've tried the rest and now I feel like I do have the best. So again, I'm gonna put a link below where you guys can find out more information and pick a pair up for yourself. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Please give it a big thumbs up for me. Make sure you leave me a comment below. Please share this video to anybody who might be interested on your social media, and as always, click that red subscribe button. Subscribe to my channel for more videos.